Why doesn't Europe have a harmonized education system? Harmonizing Europe's different education systems is an old question, as it formed part of the Treaty of Rome, which focused on professional training. Industries wanted more qualified, productive people, but the question of education, and notably junior and secondary studies, was not such a headline issue as it is today. Today, the EU cannot force member states to set up education systems from nursery schools to universities, or do so itself in the harmonious or integrated manner that a member state can within its borders. However, the subsidiarity principle allows Europe to encourage member states and gives the EU various tools and incentives like making it easier for teachers in higher education to work abroad. But Europe can't force anyone to do anything. This means that today, even if we cannot talk about real harmonization in terms of years at school or course content or teachers' salaries, all Europe's education systems are tending to converge. On assiste à une sorte de convergence hein, des, des systèmes d'éducation. Education is bearing its expected fruits. A better educated, active age group that is more open to innovation, more curious, and that speaks more foreign languages. Should we go further? For the moment, we don't really know. Some think that the European Constitution and a more closely federated, enlarged EU of the future will speed up harmonization. I think, and this is my opinion, that this is a mistake because the large federal states have national education policies full of diversity. A country like the United States has different internal education policies. That's how I'd like to answer your question. If you too would like to ask the Utalk team a question, check out our internet site.